basically what happened is one of the rings. Well, that's never a good sign. <laughs> the XR is tucked under a tarp. Yo guys, check this out. We just majorly scored on this good old fashioned 1982 Honda XR 100. Absolutely a complete bike, as you can see. Missing the uh, side panels, but we don't care. We got a slight issue with the motor. She may or may not be locked up, but uh, we're gonna get into that here in a few minutes, so stay tuned. All right, so we made it back home. This is the beast. Give you a little bit of a better uh, close-up shot here. She's minty fresh. Yeah, so let's uh, let's get this turd out of the truck. This is what we've got. So like I said, it's a 1982 Honda XR 100. Literally been sitting for, what did he say in the ad? 25 years. He said it has not moved in 25 years. And it kind of shows. So our concern is the carburetor being all gummed up and we're a little stuck here. So we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, transmission fluid down the cylinder a little bit of spray spray here and there and we'll see what happens. All right, here we are on technically day two of uh, getting this turd running. I could not find my 18 millimeter spark plug socket anywhere. So we took the Fox out for a cruise, grabbed what we need. Let's get to spraying. It's kind of funny because I looked around my place for probably two hours for these stupid sockets and I could not find them for the life of me. And as you know, we just moved. so. There's a few things that are still in boxes. There's a few things got mis that there's a few things that got misplaced that I don't have a clue where they went. So we got some new sockets and we got some liquid wrench. I'm gonna try the liquid wrench first. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna try the um, acetone transmission fluid mix. We'll see. I got a suspicion it's not stuck that bad. So we're gonna go ahead with this. Can't get it in the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> Good enough. Now we let that sit and see what happens. All right, so 24 hours after spraying the liquid wrench, we have no success. So I went ahead and added some transmission fluid. Now we're gonna hurry up and wait again. If that doesn't work, I'm going to pull the valve cover off and try gently tapping it with a block of wood. Last resort, but we'll see. Not sure if you can see in there. There is a little bit of rust, but it doesn't look all that bad looking in there with a flashlight, but clearly the rings are stuck to the wall, so fingers crossed. Okay guys, we're back at this thing. Uh, day three, are we day three now guys? I think we're day three of just the hurry up and wait. Check it out. We got a kickstart that moves now. As I just shot transmission fluid all over the place and all over my brother, he's officially uh, now a dirty rag. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna leave some transmission fluid in there. I'm gonna take the carb off right now because it is effed. So we're gonna pull that off right now and soak it. And we got the supervisor supervising. That's what he does. So now he's gonna beat me up. <laughs> yeah, he gets aggressive when I don't work as hard as he likes. So let me get back to this and we'll be back with you. As you can see, we got some goodies in here, so we're gonna do a quick carb clean here and kind of just a Hail Mary at this point, but oh my gosh. Oh, that is so dirty. Oh my gosh, you can't even see anything through that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need a rag. Well, that's never a good sign. <laughs> the XR is tucked under a tarp not what we wanted to see so basically what happened is one of the rings is broken and i'm gonna have to pull the head off anyway so kind of suspected that was coming whatever it'll be cool when it's done we'll probably end up going through and doing like a full restoration on it but uh in the meantime we're heading to some motocross races so stay tuned for that
stare at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>